Following up this morning on the deadly Tehama County stabbing that took the life of a 14 year old. Police say it happened at a Corning Quinceanera party where two young teens were stabbed and another was then arrested. Daybreak's Dylan Brown spoke with the 14 year old victim's family and has their call for justice. Nazi, a life taken too soon. Efrain Vargas was 14 years old, excited about a family party. A day or so later, his family had to throw a party celebrating his life. He had been killed. And now there are calls for justice. How many brothers and sisters do y'all have? I have, I had two brothers and I have my sister. A family torn apart. Juan losing his younger brother. A mother losing her son, Efrain Vargas, 14 years old, stabbed to death at a quinceanera. These images show the love he had for his family. I went over there and I saw my dad holding my little brother in his arms while he was bleeding. Now this image showing the love they have for him. He didn't go to parties often. He didn't really like it, but since it was a family thing, he was super excited to go. Excited until a 17-year-old, the Vargases said, they didn't know showed up threatening to kill someone. They told him to leave and I guess he left, but came back with another another knife and just started stabbing whoever he could. Two kids would be stabbed. Efrain wouldn't make it. The 17-year-old arrested, the family demanding justice. Reason, what to say that he's not going to do this to someone else's child, someone else's brother. Justice so no other family would have to wish for one last moment. That no matter what happened, he'll never leave my memories. I'll always keep him in mind. And you, Maria? Hi, in front of me, I tell him that. I love him with all my heart and that it was such an honor for me to be able to be his sister and know him for the time that I did because he was such a beautiful person inside and out. Not just because he's my brother, but I've never met somebody so sweet and kind as him. The family says justice comes in the form of you calling police if you have any information on the incident. The 17-year-old stabbing suspect was arrested Sunday afternoon in Corning and has been booked into Juvenile Hall. Corning School Districts were planning to have counselors and therapists at Corning High School this entire week, despite it being spring break. With at least 200 people attending that party Saturday, school administrators believe many have been impacted by the tragedy. We spoke with the superintendent for the elementary school district who says everybody in Corning knows at least one child who is at the quinceanera and she herself knows the 17-year-old suspect. The superintendent expects that some of them will need help navigating the tragedy. I know that there were several of our students, this is the elementary school, I know there are several of our students who were at that party and we have contacted our group of therapists who provide support for our students and they are in Corning now and available for help if anyone needs it. We have currently now school counselors at every site, all of our school sites, so there are school counselors that are the first line and then we have therapists also at all of our school sites. Not every day though, our counselors are there every day. So the students can go see the counselor and from there we can make referrals to the therapists if they, if they need help. Deed says students can come to the elementary school district office and they'll be directed on where to go. A Spanish translator will be available as well.